You have your choice of several different PWM Express LRS receivers these days, suitable for fixed wing. And uh, now the complaint is, there's not enough resolution in the Express LRS channels for my model. And you know what? They're right. Oh yeah, this is going into a tree. And here's what a Express LRS full resolution channel looks like. This is 10 bits of precision. You'll find these on channels one through four. And it's updated in every packet. You can see they're pretty smooth. And here's the aileron being driven on one of the wide switch channels, which are six through 12 in wide switch mode. See, it's pretty, pretty smooth. About as much smoothness as you can expect from a $1.50 servo. Probably be a little bit smoother on a less affordable servo. To change the setting, you just go into the Express LRS Lua. Loads up. Number one, make sure that you're not connected. If you see a C in the top, that means you're connected to a receiver. You can't change the switch mode while connected. Um, it has to be before the connection starts. Otherwise, you can't make the change. Uh, if you try to change it from hybrid right now, it'll actually just reset itself. So unplug the receiver. Wait for it to just go to the dash on the top. Telemetry lost. We all hear that all the time, right? Just change the switch. Oh, come on. Wide mode. And that's all there is to it. And now we're in wide mode. And for another demonstration of the resolution of wide mode versus full resolution, here's a pan servo. Which one is the full res and which one is the switch channel? Switches on the left, full resolution on the right. Did you get it? <laughs> Leave a comment on a Bardwell video if you guessed correctly. One final thing to remember is that your switches run at one eighth your packet rate. So for a 50 hertz servo, that means you're going to want to run 250 hertz or 500 hertz in order to get 50 hertz out of it. And that's everything you need to know. Wide switch mode. It's adequate.